First of all, I'd like to thank everybody for your support from way back when I was on American Idol till now. My first commercial release available internationally is called Take Control. I hope you guys like it. Well, my influences for this single, Take Control, was actually um, was my first club single. I've never written a club single before. So I was like, hmm, what's something that is not typical that I can talk about or sing about? And um, you know when you're at the club and you've got a guy and he's looking at you and he's really good looking and you're like, okay, can you come on over now? And then they just keep staring at you the whole entire night and you're just like, come on, do something, take control, do something. So the premise of the song is just, you know, having a guy take control in many different ways you can see in the video. Growing up in music, I had several different influences. Of course, um, I was influenced by Whitney Houston, Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle, Mariah Carey, and since I had a big voice, I would sing them a lot, and my mom would be like, Julissa, man, come on, callate ya, and I'd be like, mom, but you understand, I love this song. And so, um, then later on, I uh, did a lot of classical music, so um, I'm definitely influenced by uh, the genre of classical music. I love opera, I sang five different languages, so it was a lot of fun. Um, and then lately, uh, now, I really like um, different types of eclectic types of music. You know, I love Lady Gaga, obviously. And my favorite band is Muse, which is like, they're polar opposites. And my other favorite band is Audio Slate, which is the polar opposite of the polar opposite of that. So, I like a lot of different things. So, um, I definitely have a lot of um, roots with my Whitney Houston and my Terry and as you can see when I have to from American Idol I say Whitney Houston I have nothing. I think I know it. Well, that's the judges. <laughs> Well, my fans should expect from Take Control something completely different from what they saw in American Idol. I mean, American Idol, I was, you know, Tierra girl, I was cliche, I was cute and cuddly and really hyper and I had a funny laugh. But um, afterwards, after seeing the grind, after going through hell and high water in American Idol, I regained a new sense of confidence. I took control of my career, I saw everything in a different light, I took every opportunity to work with some amazing people. And I think you guys will really, really like the product and take control. Well, for this single, I got to work with a lot of different types of people who had different ideas where to take the record. I worked with Rod Carrillo, who has worked with artists such as Donna Summers, Joanna Krupa, and has charted this dance world many times. Um, I also worked with uh, Steady and Hybrid Heights, who has done mixes for Akon. Also, Noise Mac and Peter Brown, and many others. Well, for the video for Take Control, um, I didn't want to be typical, like, oh, everyone's dancing at the club, you know. I wanted to have a story and have a plot so people follow, you could follow something that would be interesting. And, um, <laughs> well, I decided to base it on the frustration you feel as a girl when you're at the club and there's a guy staring at you the whole night. Now, he's really good looking, but he won't come up to you for anything in the world. Like, you can give him the eye, nothing. It's just useless so the whole song is about taking control like if you don't want to do it then I'll show you how like that kind of thing so I don't want to give it away I want you guys to watch the video I think you guys will be very happy with the product <laughs> Well, it is extremely important for me to have success in the Latin market because I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of Latin. <laughs> and I have, you know, of course, very deep roots with the Latin American community. My parents are Dominican, we moved to New Jersey, you know, we struggle, you know, through, through everything to try to make a good, a good home for ourselves and have a good life. And um, I know the struggle, like, millions and millions and millions of Latin American Latin people that come to this country and try to like, make something for themselves. So I'm at the, the, the brink. I can see everything that I can do, you know, and, and I just I I just want to let people know. You know, it doesn't matter if you're Latin, it doesn't matter if you're Asian, it doesn't matter if you're black, white, whatever. You can do it. I was on American Idol and I got taken off because I lost my voice because I was sick. You think that was going to stop me? No. You just have to have that drive and determination. Grace doesn't play a factor in